Hello everybody, it's me Charlotte and today I'm going to show you guys something much different than knitting. I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect pom-pom. Now who would have thought that making a perfect pom-pom would be so challenging, but sometimes it can be. Um, sometimes they're really loose and just open and they're floppy. And so I'm going to teach you guys how to make a nice, stiff, fluffy pom-pom. It's fun. There's a few secrets to actually doing it. Um, there'll be a few things you need also, but we'll get into that in a minute. First, I want to say thank you to everyone who has subscribed to my channel. Thank you for liking, commenting, and sharing my videos. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. All right, let's get into the fun part. Let me show you guys how to make the perfect fluffy pom-pom. It's so much fun. It's messy, but it's fun. All right, you're going to need a few things. What you will need is, some of these things may sound silly. You're going to need a pair of sharp scissors, which helps greatly. You're going to need a marker or a pen, something like that. Um, you're going to need a glass. Weird, right? I know. <laughs> you're also going to need a piece of cardboard. Now, you're going to want to determine the size of pom-pom you want to make. For instance, I used this glass to make a template. I flipped it over, I traced it with my marker, I cut it out, and I got two of those. So you're going to need two of those. This is the size I want my pom-pom to be. For instance, if you can see, it's a little bit larger, but that's about, that's how you want to determine. You want to take the size of the pom-pom you want to make, and you want to cut out a cardboard cut out of that size. Um, I will say that if you're going to make a pom-pom rug, you're probably going to want a bigger pom-pom because if you've ever tried to make one of those things, tying a million pom-poms to one of those, these little, uh, these things is a pain in the butt. So the bigger the pom-pom, the less you have to actually tie them on to this. So with that being said, you want to take your cardboard, make some circle templates of the size of pom-pom you want to make. You want to then stab a hole in the middle, if you can see there. I just took my, my scissors and made a hole. So you're going to need two of those. Only one needs a hole. So that's that. And like I said, I used my glass to make the template, to trace around it. Okay, now you're also going to need some toilet paper rolls. I know. Crazy, right? Okay, the secret to the perfect pom-pom is actually the amount of yarn you use. The more yarn you use, the more fluffier and stiff it's going to be. The less yarn you use, the more floppy and open and just not pom-pommy, if that's even a word, it will be. Um, I will show you what I mean. Um, what I like to do is use two strands of yarn. You can use the same color or you can use different colors. I like to use two strands at a time because, like I said, the more yarn you use, the more stiff and fluffy it will be. What I do is I take those two strands and I tie them together. So now they are connected. I get my toilet paper rolls. I know, guys, crazy toilet paper rolls. And I take my yarn that I just tied together and I just put them in the middle and I kind of clamp them down with my fingers. I put my fingers inside here and I just hold it. Now, to get a pom-pom this size, I wrapped the yarn around this 60 times. So, like you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two, you get to 60. Then you cut it, let me grab my scissors, you cut it like so after you've done all 60 and then I will show you because I already have one prepared right here. I've wrapped it 60 times. Here's where I cut. You put it down. Then you want to take more yarn, probably, I don't know, I would say a nice 12 inches or a foot of yarn, cut it. Now you're going to tie all this together, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Take your two strands that you just cut, lay it over top, and you want to slide them down in between the toilet paper rolls, like so. 
flip it over. Now when tying the knot, I like to take and I tie it like once, like I wrap it around once, but I also do it twice, like I do it tw two times. That way it really holds by itself. Then you can carefully hold your yarn that's on your toilet paper roll, slide it off like so, put those to the side, and then you can finish and tighten up. Tighten it up. And because I wrapped it twice when I tied it, it's going to stay that nice and tight. So I don't have to worry about holding it down to get a nice tight knot made. And then I make my final knot. Pull a little tight. You don't want to break your yarn. It's easy because it's two strands, so it doesn't really break that easily. Then you take those two strands you just tied together and I hold them like so. And this is the messy fun part, guys. You get to take your scissors, go in between those loops, and I only take a few at a time because, like I said, there is a lot of yarn here. And you just cut those loops. This is very messy. If you're planning on making a lot of pom-poms, what I do is I take an old sheet, I lay it on my floor, and I sit on it, and then I make as many pom-poms as I want. And then all the mess is right there on the sheet. And then I just lift that sheet up and throw it in the trash. And it's very little to clean up that way. Easy to clean up. Making pom-poms, if you've ever made a pom-pom, you know the messy part is about to come when we get to trim the pom-pom. Okay, so I cut all my loops. Like I said, sharp scissors help. As you can tell, these are not sharp scissors. Make sure all your loops are cut. It doesn't matter if you miss a few. Take those strands that you tied together. Now, if you can look, this is what the pom-pom looks like. It doesn't look like much. Here's what a finished one looks like. Here's what it looks like before we get to trimming. Do you see the difference? Okay, let's make this one look like this one. I'm going to show you how to do it. Flip your pom-pom upside down so it's dangling from this strand. We're going to take that piece of cardboard, the template we made, with the hole in it, and we're going to put those strands through that hole. Now we're holding it like so, like that. Flip it upside down, shake it out, so now we have like a little base. Straighten out these top so they're kind of flat. Then we're going to take our other cardboard cutout and place it right on top. We're making like a pom-pom sandwich, guys. Make sure it's even on both sides, like, you know, their templates are lined up, kind of. It doesn't have to be perfect. And now the messy fun part. There is going to be a lot of cutoff, as you can see, but that's what makes the nice, stiff-looking pom-pom. The more yarn you use, and the shorter you cut it, if that makes any sense. It makes it stiff. And you want to cut around... And again, sharp scissors help. As you can tell, my scissors are not sharp. <laughs> but that's okay, we'll get through it. Let me try a different pair. Ugh. That's a little better, maybe. I don't know. Do yourself a favor, though. If you plan on making a rug and you have to make a lot of pom-poms, please get a pair of sharp scissors. Your fingers will thank you because you need to make, I started making a pom-pom rug, and I didn't realize how much pom-poms you actually have to make. They look so easy when you watch other people make them, but do not be fooled by that. I mean, the concept is easy. You just make a bunch of pom-poms, but after making 30 pom-poms, I mean, come on, you really have to be dedicated. And the reason I put this string down here is so I don't cut it off because we need that string. Okay, continue trimming all the way around. And you just wanna like, you know, follow your template. Doesn't have to be perfect by no means because we're not done yet trimming. Okay, so we have it pretty much like that. We're gonna take off the top. Now, if you're making a pom-pom rug, you can actually leave this base on the bottom and trim up the top. Okay, you can if you want. 
because your pom-pom is going to be laying flat on that rug base. But if you're making it for a hat or a scarf or something like that, you want to take both templates off, shake out your pom-pom, and you can see it's kind of still lopsided. Well, now we're going to do the opposite. We had it this way. Now we're going to turn it to its side. We're going to flatten it down like so. I take the strings and I try to wiggle them up to the top and gather them because I'm going to place my template on top of that. I'm going to flip it over to the bottom side, take my other template and squish it down like that. You see the leftover? That was the top, this was the bottom, the parts we didn't get to trim yet. So now we're going to trim those. Back to our trusty scissors that are hopefully sharp. In my case, they're not. I know. I should have bought sharper scissors. And you're just going to go around and trim up the edges, the sides, to try to make them, you know, as even as possible. Oh, Lord. These scissors. I tell you what. Okay. So, again, doesn't have to be perfect. Take it out. Take off your templates. Find your strings. Shake out your ball. Now you're left with this. Now this is the part where if you want to come back through with your pair of scissors and you can trim up, you know, any little stragglers that are just hanging out, you can do it that way. Now I will tell you, if you want a more solid pom-pom, you want it to be tighter. Um, I think this is a good example. This one here, I wrapped like 75 times. Um, and this is a very tight, fluffy pom-pom. Another thing you can do is, the, like I said, the more yarn, the fluffier and tighter it will be. Um, you can also throw them in the dryer and it will make it like have a nice, fluffy looking outside as well. But that's how you do it, guys. Um, it's actually fun to do. Like I said, it's very messy. So I do recommend laying down a sheet and doing all your mess making on the sheets. That way you can just wrap the sheet up when you're done and dump it in the trash. Um, but yeah, that's how you make a very easy, fun pom-pom. And like I said, the more you trim it, the more yarn you use, the tighter it's going to be, the shorter down you trim it, the more tighter and fluffier it will be. But that's how I make my pom-poms, guys. It's fun. It's easy. The kids can help. I just recommend that if they're using the scissors, supervise them. So if any young child is out there wanting to make a pom-pom, please have adult supervision when cutting using the scissors. I wouldn't want you guys to cut yourselves. But yeah, that's how you make a pom-pom. If you guys liked this video or if you want to see more videos like this, not just on knitting, please let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And if you'd like to follow me on Facebook, that link will be in the description below. Again fun pom-pom making. <laughs> all right, guys, until next time, I hope you all have a super wonderful, fabulous day, and happy crafting. Bye.